Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clinical Liver Disease video series. CLD is an official digital learning publication of the ASLD. I'm Neil Shaw. I'm the chair of the Mentorship and Membership Committee for the AASLD and also an associate el uh, editor for CLD. Uh, I'm here today with Dr. Anurag Gadur. He's one of our emerging liver scholars from the University of Virginia and the author of the recently accepted Endobariatrics Therapies as a Treatment Strategy for Mastled, which is, uh, again, published in CLD. Uh, Dr. Gadur, thank you uh, for joining us today. Thanks so much for having me, Dr. Shaw. It's a pleasure to be here. So I want people to get an, a little bit of an idea of a preview of your article. Why don't you go ahead and tell us uh, first, what are some of the current FDA-approved endobariatric therapies that are available for patients right now? Sure. Yeah, you know, I think it's really important to discuss the rise of some of these endobariatric therapies, uh, namely the intragastric balloon and endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty are two of the more prominently performed procedures currently. Uh, there's a lot more in the works, but um, patients often struggle to lose weight uh, through diet and lifestyle interventions. And so these procedures offer a really promising therapeutic approach for patients who struggle to lose weight in those conventional methods. Yeah, and, and can you tell us a little bit about kind of the importance of these therapies uh, for kind of our, our rising mass old population, right? This is really on the rise here and truly an, an epidemic here in the U.S. Yeah, yeah, mass old now being the leading cause of cirrhosis and liver transplantation in the U.S. Um, you know, I think the uptake of bariatric surgery in this population is really limited. And, you know, particularly given uh, the concerns over surgical morbidity, um, and so I think these endobariatric procedures uh, are offer a promising alternative to surgery. They've demonstrated excellent safety and efficacy in clinical studies. Um, and they're particularly helpful for patients who, again, you know, struggle to lose weight through diet and lifestyle interventions. Um, and for the patient population that we're particularly interested in with MASLD um, can have a, a, a huge benefit for these patients in terms of improving not only steatosis, but even fibrosis. Yeah, and your article does really a really great job. I uh, encourage everyone to check it out on kind of outlining that. Um, but I want to hear your thoughts on this. So, you know, we're all in this world of these new GLP-1 uh, receptor agonists, and they're really exciting, and they're really popular. Tell us what you think the future holds for, and specifically, endobariatric procedures, especially now with this changing landscape of these new uh, medicines that we can use for patients. Yeah, I, I think you hit the nail on the head. There's been a lot of changes over the last three to five years, especially with the rise of these new medications. Um, I think what we're headed towards is more of a multifaceted approach. I think we have, you know, uh, a lot of tools now to treat patients with obesity and particularly with MASLD. Um, I think a lot of patients, uh, you know, medications offer a really attractive um, opportunity that patients would probably prefer over a procedure. Uh, but at the same time, I think there's a, a large population of patients that may not tolerate the medications well uh, due to side effects or um, uh, other, uh, you know, uh, adverse effects of the medications. Um, and so these procedures potentially offer them uh, a solution beyond the medications uh, and something better or less invasive than bariatric surgery. And so I think going forward, uh, you know, all options, all options are on the table and, and it will be a risk benefit discussion with their patients. Awesome. Thank you, uh, Dr. Gore. This is, this is really great for everyone listening. It's a good preview for the article. Please go out uh, to uh, uh, cldlearning.com uh, and check out the article. Um, I want to thank everyone for joining us uh, again for another installment in this video series uh, and, and joining us. And um, thanks again for watching. Dr. Gador, thank you again for, um, uh, for giving us a little bit of a preview. Yeah, thanks, Dr. Shaw. Pleasure. All right.